Hello everyone, my name is Bruno and I'm back again with another Octobot tutorial for all of you. Today we'll be learning how you can trade any cryptocurrency pair you want on any exchange you want thanks to Octobot being open source. Normally a tutorial like this would begin with a part of me showing you how you can download and install the Octobot software, but because we already have a video on this, we are gonna jump this step and go straight forward into the important part of the tutorial. But if you don't have Octobot installed in your computer, you can check out this video to learn how you can do it. Ok guys, so once you are in Octobot, the first thing you have to do is go to accounts, then exchanges and add Hola Eds as an exchange. Then you have to get your API key and API secret from the exchange you wanna add to Octobot. Again, just like with the Octobot installation, this is something that I have already covered in the other Octobot setup video, so you can go check that out to know exactly how you can get your API key and API secret. Once you've wrote down your API key and API secret, you're gonna see an invalid authentication detail server. This is because you still don't have the right API URL. If you go to exchanges inside the profiles tab, you're gonna find the settings of the Hola Eds exchange you have just configured. You're gonna see the default API URL for Hola Eds, but what you really want is any exchanges based on Hola Eds API URL. To get it, go to the login page of the exchange and type a random email address and a random password. Then hit the right click and click on inspect. This will open the inspect tab of your browser. Then go to network and then once you're there, click on login. This will show a request to the server called login. Click on it and you should be able to see the API URL. Once you've got it, copy it and paste it in the configuration section of your exchange in Octobot. It's also important to deactivate the WebSocket feed as it can cause problems. As you can see, your exchange is now connected and ready to trade. The only thing left to do now is to add the currencies you wanna trade in your exchange. To do this, go to the currencies section in the profile tab and add USDT. Once you've done that, write the pair you wanna add to the USDT text box. Then hit enter. For this example, I'm gonna use HRCC, but remember you can use any custom pair you want as long as it's listed in a Hola Edge based exchange that you have configured. Finally, save the changes, restart Octobot and you're now ready to trade. The last thing to do before you start trading is to actually select a trading strategy. Today, I'm gonna go with Simple DCA as it's a good strategy that I can use to show you this works, but remember that any strategy of the Octobot menu should work. Another important thing to have in mind while configuring your strategy is to activate the Use Market Orders instead of Limit Orders option, as this can cause problems with some custom pairs. Once you've done this, just restart Octobot and, depending on the strategy you choose, you should see orders start to pop up.
As you can see, our custom pair has now been successfully traded on Octobot. And this has done everything for today. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and that you were able to trade whatever currency you wanted to trade. If you want to see more content like this, please leave a like and consider subscribing. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.